Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to do a tutorial on composite uh, beam design. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is define the section. Come to Tools, Section Definition. Select the predefined section and then we'll adjust it. You come for this section. Come to Section A, the steel part. Let it be a UB. Let this be 450. To that one and then this is that then the concrete bit the A part 6000 6, the width is 250 the class is class 30 which is ok so that's your section next you want to save this into the database let's call it ASD default value let's make them one by one ASD. Let's call it okay. Then call it that. Save it. <clears throat> okay. You've saved it to the database. Now you come back to the geometry. You sketch the span. This is seven meter. One and one. Apply and then close. Then you draw. Uh, come to spare properties. You come to UK section. Come to user. Come to UDA. That's it. Add and you close. Then you come draw your section okay you give flesh it but it's not your section so you select it and you can select the uda section okay so that's it that's your bar the next thing you want to do is to give it support so we come to pin support you unflash it there and there but this will have problem because if i calculate there'll be torsional restraint is zero so that's instability so what you want to do come up the new section and restrain it on the torsional axis okay so you have rx and rz this kind of movement you add you close and you you define the two sections you calculate there you have it now come to loading load types this the self load is predetermined come to live load yes it's added now you come to load definition and what you want is live load the live load i want to use since the udl is 6.5 and the span is 6 meters if you multiply that you'll get 39 negative 39 okay then select your section that's it select this value get that next you come to manual combination combination m that's 1.4 this is 1.6 Next, you come to new, you need an SLS, OK, then this will be one value, you apply, and you close. I'm doing this tutorial on site, so too much noise, background noise. Great, now that you have your section, you can come check the results, analysis, you check the moment moment maximum is due to live load is that one due to combination one seven or two due to combination two sls 467 okay shear forces x shear forces that is it if you want to make it more visible you can even add it give it values okay okay 
so that you come to this value you apply that's your var maximum moments okay now you want the results output the stress analysis select this come to uh, results come to stress analysis stress analysis okay let it do area accreditization and there you go okay so you come to this select the bar this is our bar bar one you apply okay so this is the stress distribution due to self weight come to combination this is the stress profile due to self weight but you're interested in, in the maximum value so that's it let it accreditize it okay yeah so that's the value so the way you look go through this your concrete strength was uh, 30 megapascals this is 6.11 so concrete is safe on the safe zone on the steel section this stress value was 275 this active at ULS you are getting it to be negative 197.26 kilo megapascals which is lesser than 275 so this is how you do stress profiling in 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 autodesk robot it doesn't give you much information but that's what you live with and then you can generate your report calculation note and that's it it's just a stresses diagram yeah then you can save this save it wherever you want in in word and that will be it just amount of analysis okay thank you and wait for please subscribe and wait for we'll do the same same bar in midas sealed thank you